to my channel, you guys. We are in the studio. I'm so excited. A lot of you guys have been wanting us to be back in the studio, so we are back. And today, we have something very special in front of us. Um, sushi. So sweet. We're really excited because this is like our favorite sushi place ever. Michelle loves it, so I was like, you gotta come over today. Mm -hmm. You was mm -hmm. invited, mm -hmm. you was gonna join me. Mm -hmm. Because Michelle loves sushi, and what better sushi to eat than a Kim Thai platter? <laughs> I'm so excited because Chef Han, so I'll list the link down below and everything. If you guys have watched our previous sushi videos, then mm -hmm. you know that um, I just got my nails done, so I'm gonna be doing this a lot. Just feeling very sassy. Just feeling today. sassy today, okay. Just got my nails done. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know. Oh, that was a whole fiasco. <laughs> you know the situation that happened yesterday. But, um, so Chef Han is the person that curates this platter. He makes the sushi. Um, if you guys have been watching our videos, then you know that he used to work for Nobu, which is like the best sushi that you can get. And I am so proud of him. He hit over 10,000 followers on Instagram. So his business is growing and I am just so happy for him and his family and his team. And it's been amazing watching him grow on Instagram because I feel like when we first tried his sushi, he was at like a few thousand subscribers or followers on Instagram. Yeah, something like that. He had just started because of the pandemic. Yes, that's what um, it was. I think, la yeah, last year. Mm -hmm. So it's been amazing to support a small business and watch him grow so much. And mm -hmm. I cannot wait to see everything that is gonna happen for him in the future. So he reached out to me a few months ago and asked if it would be okay if he curated a Kim Thai platter. Mm -hmm. And there are a few of my favorite things in here, but there are a lot of things that I actually don't know. So this is also a surprise for me. The good news is, if you guys want to try everything that we're eating today, the Kim Thai platter is available on his menu starting June 11th until June 27th. And also on June 9th, they're launching dessert. And you guys, everything that Chef Han does mm -hmm. is so pretty, it tastes amazing, it's fresh, mm -hmm. and it's just like he put a lot of thought into everything. If you guys can see here, my signature, is right above his name as well, which I thought was so meaningful that he would go out of his way to add my signature. So we're really excited. I'll list all the information down below. If you guys are in the Orange County area, make sure you guys give him a call, put in your pre-orders. Um, he does sell out very, very, very fast. Mm -hmm. And I will also put a list down below of everything that's in the Kim Thai platter because I also don't know a lot of these items. But yeah, without further ado, bon appetit. Bon appetitis. We also have a game today, like we always do. We haven't I, played one in a long I know, time, well, though. We haven't been in the studio in True. Like months. True. When's the last time we were in here? I was think, it the seafood? Was it the seafood or the the spring rolls? I don't know. Or was it sushi? Oh, I don't know. It oh must have been two or three months ago. But we um, are playing this game. I bought this game on Amazon. And it's called A Collection of Questions for Deeper Discussions. So we're going to play this in a little bit after we stuff our faces. Hopefully the questions are juicy. Because the other one was really good. Combo, combo and mm -hmm. chill. Today I'm drinking Arizona green tea with ginseng and honey. I'm just having a cork. Go ahead, Michelle. Um, bon appetit, honey. Would you like a wasabi ball? Uh, the only thing that Chef Han didn't put. Oh, I know. Uh, Chef Han, my heart is broken. The only thing that's like... Not in the platter is um, those little plum balls. I love them. So if you guys order from Chef Han, make sure you ask him to put in the plum balls because they're so delicious. You guys, this is the best sushi you will ever get. Like, ever. And you can eat it in your home. You can really tell. Tell. <laughs> he takes his time. And even, like, his staff take their time. I mean, when we visited, they used tweezers. They used tweezers to you guys. place everything. Like, I feel like yes, one it's sanitation, obviously, but they can easily put on gloves and like, right, you know? And there's like little beautiful flowers around here. Like, Presentation look at this. It's just amazing. Oh, <gasps> that one's my favorite one. I know, I'm excited for that one. I'm going to go with that first. I think this is salmon and that is spicy tuna. Okay. That's all I know, but I'm going to 
I oh, love this one. Um, it's rice with salmon and then this like green thing. That's super good. I'm gonna try that with you too. Mmm. Oh, it's been too long. I want to do this like once a month. Like oh, Chef Han, once a month, okay? I need sushi once a month. Oh no, I can't do that. Because then when I get pregnant, you'll know. Mm-hmm. I will know. <laughs> Chef will know. We Chef will all know. She, we will all know. I really like this a lot. You enjoy it, Mom. This is good. I never know if the flowers are edible. I'm sure they have to be, right? Mmm. I'm gonna try a tuna. Mmm, the tuna's good. Mm. Mom, I don't know what's on the tuna, but it's good. Which one's the this tuna? This one's tuna. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna go and eat this mm. green stuff. What? Okay, let me clean my platter. Platter? Gonna... What? Platter? Mm. Palette, palette, palette. <laughs> I don't know what's in that, but that's good. Chef Han makes the best sushi. Mm. Oh. Is it not beautiful? Oh. Right. Oh my god. Right? Don't worry, mom. There's tuna here and there's tuna here and there's salmon. Oh my god, here. the tuna's really good. I don't know what it is, you guys. Also, Michelle and I just got our hair done. Mm hmm. Michelle went light. Uh, it looks darker on camera. It looks better in person, you guys. In person, it's really light and pretty. And then I went blonde, but I'm going brown next week. So don't be sad, because I know a lot of you guys like the blonde, but <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I'm very excited. It's a lot to maintain, having blonde. It's a lot to maintain to have blonde hair, unless you have obviously naturally blonde hair, but right. I naturally have dark brown black hair, so my roots come out really fast and I have to go back like every four weeks. But it's okay because like eventually I wanted to go a really nice light brown mm -hmm. and I had to be blonde anyways in order to go light. You enjoyed it for the time being. I had it for what, a month? Was it a month? It's only been that long? Yeah, I think. I mean, technically you were blonde when you put in your extensions. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. in a sense, you've been blonde for a little, little bit. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's good. The salmon rolls are good. Hey, doesn't this look like gimbap? It does. It really does. Chef Han, is this gimbap? Because there's also Korean pickled radish in there. What? I have one here, Mom. I have one here. I have one. Okay. I think it's fried fish. It's so good. Oh my mm. god. Mom, I think it's salmon skin. Oh, it is? But it's not fried fish. Mm. <laughs> I second guessed myself. I was like, I mean, Michelle, it's not fried I was just adding detail <laughs> to your answer. Oh my god, this is so good. I rarely say this, but I think it's too fishy for me. It's too fishy? Mm hmm. Ah. Which is rare. I never say things are too fishy. Okay, this has like beautiful. It looks like gimbap. Oh my god, I love fishkin. There's more over here. Mm. I think this is yellowtail. I don't really know. I'm just going for it. Hmm. That's new to us. Mm-hmm. This and this. I don't know what this is. Oh, I think that one's fish skin too. Oh my god. I could eat like 10 of those. Okay. You want to try these things in the middle? Because that's new to us too. The little boats? Yeah. A dub. Oh my god, literally. How cute is that? A dub, anybody? I'm going to put some radish. 
thing to scratch. Okay, it's like wrap. It's a wrap. Hmm? It's like a little wrap. There's things inside. Oh, okay. Um, <coughs> I, I just don't know how to... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. She it's, messy. She it's blood, Mom. There's two in there. Oh, there's two? Yeah, there's two. Okay, there one up the titties. One up the titties. Oh. Mmm. Oh, that's like expensive tasting. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. 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 Okay, we're eating good to die. Okay. I'm really proud that my name's on this. Oh my gosh, it's so good. We like this. Oh my goodness, that is good. What is that? I don't know. But that sauce is really good. Honestly, Chef Han puts really pretty things on, so I could be eating like Christmas present wrappers and I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting it in my mouth. Like, I mean, you like, guys, he has gold flakes on these. Yeah, I just honestly. Okay. Mm. That sauce. Mm -hmm. mm. That sauce is amazing. His spicy tuna is so good. Put in your orders, you guys. Put in your orders. It's really good. You guys, I'm not the one to take to a foreign country. She is. I'm not. <laughs> I just eat things. I'm, I'm not. I'm like hoping that a plum ball will appear. I don't think so. I don't think so. Either. <laughs> Hello? No. Wait, what are these? Why are, why are these so pretty? Oh my goodness. What kind of plant is this? They have to be edible, right? Did you smell it? Ooh. I've smelled it before. Or am I thinking about cigarettes? No, no, no. Does it, it does. Smell like cigarettes? No. <laughs> it smells familiar. Is this spicy tuna? That's salmon. That's salmon. Super good. Mm -hmm. Spicy tuna is up front. Oh my god, and his rice. So good. I don't know what he does to his rice, but it's bomb. You know they say it's good quality sushi when there's not a lot of rice. Mm-hmm. 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 Even his, um, are these? These are sushis, right? These are sushis. These are rolls. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Anyways, he doesn't put a lot of rice in. You can tile the quality. Yeah. I hate when the rolls are, oh, and like my, oh. You, I like don't love sushi places where the rolls are like, ginormous yeah. and it's all rice. Mm -hmm. hmm. This is so good. Mm. I kind of want to try the dessert now. I don't know why. Would you like to try one? Mm -mm. Which one? Do you like green tea dessert? Because I'm assuming that one is green Oh, that's tea. all you then. Okay. Try What's the, the middle one? one. Or try the middle one. Ew. His dessert is pretty. Do you think there's walnuts in there? No, right? Oh. I don't know. Do I eat this, Mom? Yeah. Oh! What? I thought it was hard. No, aren't they cake pop kind of things? Oh. Can I see what's inside? Oh. Is that a carrot cake? I don't think there's walnuts. No, thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Try the middle one. Oh my God, it's not too sweet. I'm just okay. going to make her try all of them. So this is the middle one. Try 
chocolate. Mm. Oh. Oh. No, thank you. <laughs> the problem is, I don't, I don't taste walnuts. You want me to test him? Food is really good. I don't think he would. You want me to test him? I can text Chef on. Okay. I should have asked him when I saw him. Yeah, don't worry. I'll text him. Hello, Chef Han. <laughs> Hello, Chef Han. Are there walnuts in the dessert? I don't think so, though. You want me to try this one? Mm. Ooh. I think this is green tea. I think so, too. Oh, that's rich. <laughs> what does that even mean? Too much green tea? That's a lot of green tea. Right, I'm assuming the others are the same. Uh, yeah. He said you can either buy them individually. Why did I say it like that? How do you buy them? Individually. Mm. Or you can do like, um, like a sample little thing. You guys, I'm telling you. Date night with your significant other. Oh, that's cute. Girls night mm -hmm. with your girlfriends. Mm -hmm. Even boys nights, like game nights with your boys. Like, this is it. This is it right here. This is it. You should get it and go like on a picnic or something. I think there's nothing better than impressing guests with amazing food. I agree. Like, it's so important when you have people over or you show up somewhere with good food. Like, you just automatically win at life. My mom automatically talks shit if the oh. food at your party is not good. My mom will judge you. And right she means like half ass food. No offense. <laughs> you guys. No, like my mom really does. She's like, did you see? And I'm like, what? And she's like, those finger sandwiches. And I'm like, mom. She's like, what am I supposed to do with that? <clears throat> but also, I feel like in our culture. Yeah. Oh, my God. And you're not supposed to have any leftovers. Like, you should have more than enough to, like, have your guests take home. If you guys have been to a Vietnamese party, you know. You know the dinner table is buffet style. And there mm -hmm. is literally every single dish possible. And you go home with food. Like, there is no leftovers. Always. Ooh, you're going for that? I'm about to frame this because that's my name on it. I'm just going to place it so people can see it, but I want to eat what's under it. Look, it has my signature, you guys. Oh, it's a sandwich. Oh, but you like what's in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle loves the crispy rice. Uh-huh. Okay. You don't want to take the lettuce with it? It's kind of soggy. No, sorry. <laughs> Michelle loves crispy rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where did you used to get crispy rice? Everywhere. Oh, that made no sense. Literally no sense was made in that sentence. I He's, always get it at the revolving mm -hmm. sushi. No, 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 but also that corner place on Edinger and Gothard that we used to go to. The one that, yeah. Yes, we did. We used to settle for that place. They're still there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I told you last time, remember? I was like, yeah, hey. Yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> that corner never... And no, no shade. I'm just literally saying that corner really rarely gets business. I truly think that corner is bad luck. Yeah, I don't know. Every business that has moved into that corner, like, always leaves for some reason. Might be the car wash, no parking. I think it's a no parking thing. Because there's literally nowhere to park. Okay, game time. <clears throat> Yeah, and give her hair, give her nails, <laughs> give her a dress, and she gets really sauce, sauce, saucy, and a ring. <laughs> okay, ready? Uh huh. I asked you first, or would you like to ask me first? I would like to ask you first. God, we're going to the Dollar Tree after this. <laughs> we're really excited. Did you shuffle, Mom? Oh, I attempted to. How, what, what do you, what do you mean? How do you attempt to shuffle? Mom, I'm such a hoe. Why? Forgot You're to, full. No. I forgot to take pictures of the platter before we started eating. I'm sad. It was so pretty. Oh, I told myself I was going to do that too. Oh my god, we suck. 
Um, we can... Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, Titanic, one, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, ready? If you became a leader of a country, what would the press say about you? Oh my god! Excuse me. That's such a hard question to ask the person. Yeah. Wouldn't anything. it be easier to ask you? Okay. What would people... Like a president? Like is that what they mean? A like leader. a leader. Yeah. Yeah. Or like queen. Mm. I want to be queen. I want to be queen. She doesn't talk a lot. Mm, true. Yeah, but then you don't technically get to rule over your own country. Parliament does. I don't... I have good leading skills in things that I'm confident in, obviously. Okay, so let's just say it's a different world. It's not like legit parliament. Okay, because me and politics, we would all suffer. Okay. I don't know what the press would say. You say I eat a lot. <laughs> mm, I feel like the press would constantly be talking. Oh, the press would easily say, wait, what would the press say about you? They would, they would, they would wonder where you are. Because <laughs> you would never leave your palace. Yeah, I honestly... I would be like the most low key person ever. Literally, press would be like, "Did she leave her house today? Yeah, like, is she there? Did she die? Like everything that questions her existence." Right. Yeah, I would do everything from the comfort of my home. Yeah. You would like only leave for like special occasions. Like you have to go to like certain like a dog shelter weddings. Okay. Oh, <laughs> or that. <laughs> or that. That too. That's very important. Yes. 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 <clears throat> Ready? Mm hmm Given the chance, what would your worst enemy want to tattoo on your back? What? Next question? Yeah. Oh my God. What does that mean? In your biography, which chapters would you ask your parents to skip? Oh, shit. So you wrote a book about your life. Which one would you want Oma not to read? Honestly, if you just give me a year, I know exactly what you're talking about. You don't even have to explain, girlfriend. That I don't mind. <laughs> if I was being, like, really honest and I had to put, like, a lot of thought into it, I would skip the part, like, of being depressed. Because I wouldn't want my mom to read about it. Oh, really? Because I feel like it would just hurt her. Aww. Yeah, yes, if it was honest. If it's a joke, it's definitely 2016. <laughs> yeah, 2016. <laughs> Can we skip that for me too? I mean, actually, no, I would skip that because if I had to add details into it. No, that's the thing. That's why I'm oh, saying. Oh! It's your uh, biography. Like, we really have to go into details? Yeah, I would skip 2016. Yeah, I would skip 2016. That well, is sure. not the brightest year of my life. Same girl, same. I was 21. Oh my god! I was 21, almost turning 22 in October. I was 22? You were 22 turning 23, yeah. I turned 28 this year. Doesn't it sound like we were babies? Are you doing the math right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. every time I talk about it, I'm like, oh wow. Okay, I, I keep feeling like 2012 was last year. But it was 10 years ago. No, mom, it was a long time ago. Oh my god. Okay, your turn. If everyone had... <laughs> Damn, girl. If everyone... Can both speakers in your mouth? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> if everyone had to decide on their career path at age six, what would your life look like now? Dang. Um, well, I was robbing people's lunchboxes. <laughs> So my life would be in jail. Oh my god, I'm dead. Yeah. 
No, you would oh. start a business. What? No, maybe you are little ass. Yeah, and then <laughs> starting to reorganize them and be like, who wants this one? Uh, Cheese, it's our another edition. Oh my goodness, yeah. At six years old, you were stealing lunch boxes? Yeah, I would. Okay, so when we. So in. When I was six, so we were what? First grade? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. so around that. Okay, so I lived in multiple places during that year then, because I like. Was it in Arizona, and then I moved to Pennsylvania, I think? That's when you moved? I think. It was around that time. I okay. think so. Oh, my God. It's so hard to remember. But, anywho, when I went to school in Arizona, you get to school early, and you play on the playground. Mm -hmm. So, there was, like, a box. Oh, my God. This is so bad. But I was, like, like young, you know? Um, so, there was, like, a box. <laughs> and you would put your lunch boxes in there, and your okay. backpacks. Okay. And then like a cubby. Yeah, but it was literally just like a big box. Like there was no oh. secure, like it was not locker stuff. Big, it was oh. like that box in front of my door right now. And then you just, all the kids just threw their lunch boxes. Wait, how are you and supposed to find everything? Well, at the end, you just go through and find your shit. That's terrible. So then you get to school early and you play on the playground and all of your stuff is there. And oh my goodness, you guys, I remember stealing lunch boxes. So I don't get it. Like... Okay, so I, um, so growing up, I always had free lunch because okay. we were low income. Mm -hmm. And I always had this fascination as a kid with lunch boxes because, like, my mom never packed me lunch. Mm. And, like, all of, like, I grew up in, I, I, majority of my grow, like, life, I grew up in, like, a Caucasian community. Mm -hmm. So, like, all these white kids mm -hmm. would have like bomb ass lunch boxes because their parents would make it cute With and snacks. like yeah like they had like a snack section and then like fruits and like their sandwiches were cute or like they would like it was just like really cool and I always wanted that you know so I think that's like yeah I had a pencil stealing problem you stole pen but that's normal pens and pencils no because Oma always said like I'm not buying you because you know how like certain kids. Won't be too specific. Got like new supplies like every year. Uh huh. I'm always like, that's so wasteful. Use what you use. Like my backpack. You... <laughs> no. <laughs> I still got my new backpack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get you. No, I understand. You know, so then when someone had a really cool pen or a pencil, I was like, I want it. And so like their their the way our desks looked, it had that side. Yeah. And they would like have their favorite pencils there, and I would like walk by and like just take it. Oh my goodness. But then I could never use it in school. Oh my god. Now talking they about know. it. They would know. So I would take it home and use it at home. I had a really bad stealing problem when I was little. Like I would steal money out of like my brother's wallet oh, or my mom's shoot. wallet. Like I, I, dude, I had a really bad stealing problem. I only did that once. I told you because I wanted to buy a book, but then I bought it on the wrong day. <laughs> what is it? It's called. What was that book thing? Book fair? That was Elastics, right? Yeah. Something like that. But you know, they would torture me because they wouldn't just sell books. They would sell like Oh my god, yeah, I know. Yeah. It was never just books. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Gosh. But yeah, that would be mine. I think that... I is think this my turn yeah. to I think it comes naturally with coming from like certain families and like, you know? <gasps> Hi, Clemmy with me. You guys, Clem is so cute right now with her ears. You want to show the world? We'll show you at the end, okay? Cutie patootie. If you didn't have to sleep every night, what would you do with all that extra time? But that's what I do, sleep. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, that's a good question. If I had extra time? Yeah, if you didn't have to sleep at night. Say you were just like, your body just did not need sleep. Oh, that's kind of crazy to think about it. I think I would drive myself insane. No, like sleep doesn't even exist in your oh. life. You don't know about it, friend. I guess. I mean, I should get to the gym more often. <laughs> I wish like I had more hours in the day because I feel like I do something and then it's like, oh, it's time to go to bed. Yeah. You know? That's why I stay up so late. Right. That's why my hours are like switched. They're opposites. Yeah. Huh. I, I wish I was a morning person. You could be. You were. I, uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, I tried it for a week. It was actually really nice. It's nice. It's so it's nice. nice. But then, but then you go, oh, sleeping is nice, and then you just yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's not it, right? That's no, not I put that away. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not it either. No. Okay. I really <clears throat> like this a lot. Oh, sorry. A little, a little drunk. Are you waiting for me? Yeah. Okay. When you were a child, how did you imagine adulthood and how does that compare to reality? Oh my God. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here, here we go. go. So lately, this past like, I would say week and a half, I've been re-watching The Hills oh. um, season. I, I don't like the fifth season because Lauren leaves at the end of four and Kristen takes over and it's way too much drama for me. But I loved The Hills growing up. This is my like sixth time watching it, you guys. I'm obsessed with Lauren Conrad. But... Yes, yeah, so I've been watching, rewatching The Hills, and I've watched a little with you. Mm -hmm. And it's like I remember when The Hills was out, we were in middle school, mm -hmm. and I remember looking up to these people, thinking, "Oh my god, like how fun it would be to be a grown up." And now mm -hmm. that I'm watching it, I'm like, "Holy moly, they're like 22, 23 here, and they act and look so much older when mm -hmm. than when we were 22, 23." Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? But that's what I thought grown-up life was no but technically us at 21 22 23 yeah middle schoolers think we have our lives together true so it makes sense um because we're driving around we go to restaurants alone like mm, if you think about it though are you me at the answer or me at the mm, food mm, <laughs> mm. so do you think <laughs> back to the question oh hmm hmm do you think the way you imagine your life when you were little is the same as what it is now? I definitely did not think I was going to be, like, busier. Mm. But then again, I didn't know that I was going to be self-employed. Mm, true. I really thought that I was going to grow up and have, like, the typical, you know? Just like a job? Yeah. You graduate high school. I thought I was going to graduate high school, which I did. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would go to a four year and I would be in a sorority and have all these friends. You did? You know? And then I thought after that I was going to get a job mm -hmm. and then meet somebody, get married, get a house. Like, you know, the typical. Mm. And so when things didn't work out that way in college and I was like delayed or whatever, it was kind of like, oh, like you, I feel as if. After you graduate high school, you're still a kid in my eyes. Yes. You are still a kid at 18. 18 most 18-year-olds 18 don't know the real world, don't know what's out there, and it's a time for you to, like, discover yourself and grow up, and I feel like that's what college is for. College mm -hmm. is all about finding yourself, and a lot of people, like, it's a lot of ups and downs, you know? So, no, it's, wait, I, I guess... I guess it's it's a little bit different than what I thought. But mm -hmm. I kind of was, like, on the right track. You know? That makes sense. Yeah. If you could give your parents advice on how to raise you, what would you tell them? A little more love wouldn't hurt. <clears throat> She's loved. Not, she is loved. Not in the... Uh, that's in a joking way. But, like, what I mean is more... Not love, more affection like understanding affection mm -hmm. but that's just so hard for them because they grew up asian like super asian you know what i think is so oh no no i wouldn't say funny or ironic i don't have the right word for it um you are exactly what you needed growing up what do you mean like you are the opposite of oma and appa yeah where like i know when you raise your kids you're just gonna be so freaking like sentimental towards yeah. them. Yeah. So, but I wonder if that's because, like, when you were growing up, that's what you needed. I think so. Because that's how I am. Yeah, and, but I think it's just, it's normal. They, if you meet very traditional Asian, you know, families, not a lot of times is it common where you find that the parents are very sentimental and, like, you know, like, a lot of times it's really hard. Like, I think they get it now, but, like, a long time ago, they didn't understand what, like, mental health was. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't believe in that. Like, oh, you go to a therapist? Like, what, why do you have to pay someone to tell them your problems? You know, kind of thing. So they don't really understand that. 
But I feel like now that I'm older, they kind of get it. But I think it would have been nicer and better for me if they were more sensitive. Yeah. That's what it is. Sensitive to, like, other people's feelings, a.k.a. me. It's kind of like when you're sad and they're like, but why? Like, yeah. you're out of the house. Like, you, yeah. you know? Yeah, I get it. Or it's like, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, like, oh, I tried. No wallets. Oh, good. <laughs> um, or, like, it's like, oh, I tried. But then their point is, like, you didn't try hard enough. But it's like, yeah. how do you know? Like, you didn't get to do, like, it's. I think it also comes with, um. Uh, our parents having such a high expectation of us mm -hmm. that when we fail, we feel like failing is the worst thing that can ever happen. When failing, right. like that's what I want to teach our kids. Our kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what I want to teach. Like um, our kids. Um, they get where, it. They get it. Where am I going with this? I started looking out the window. We really should close the curtain because I, I know. I'm looking out the window too. You're gonna teach them that failure's okay. Yes, yes. You guys know where I'm going. It's a, with it's this. a step to get yeah. to success. Like it's okay. It's okay to fail. It's okay to make mistakes. You know, the most important thing is that you learn from it and you better yourself. Right. Um. Because I feel like growing up, I felt as if I wasn't allowed to ever do anything wrong mm -hmm. or fail. Yeah. You know, and I had to, like, have things figured out. And it was, like, if you failed, you were never going to get back up. There was, like, um, no hope. There's, like, no sense of hope, I feel like. And I'm just, like, but you gotta, like. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if you felt the same way, but I felt like when I was growing up, I just had to, like, my goal, my purpose in life was trying to impress my mom. Mm -hmm. Like, make sure that I did everything right, that I was the best kid. So, yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least we learn and... I'm so glad I'm an adult and I'm out of the house, you know? I know. Well, I'm not out of the house, but it's fine. <laughs> In what way... You know? But you know what? I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For a while, I was very depressed. Mm. But now I am very content. Oh, my super chill. Oh, yeah. That was because Alma and I had differences, but we, like, got past it, and we're fine now. In what ways are you privileged? Damn. Aww. They knew we were playing with Kim Thai. <laughs> I'm kidding. She's not privileged. Um, is privilege, like... Privilege? Oh my god, I thought someone was robbing your car. What? Who is it? No, but it was a tree branch in the oh shadow. Oh my gosh, you scared me. <laughs> I was about to jump out the window. I was about to lift my dress and run. <laughs> Imagine me diving through this window. Me? Do you know who you're robbing right now? Uh, privilege. I would definitely say... Privilege isn't a bad thing either. No, no, no. I feel no. like people sometimes switch it around and act like it's a bad thing, but it's not. Yeah, um... How, I have it in my head, but I don't know how to explain it to you guys. My, my, um, like, how I think I was privileged growing up was even something as small as I was able to, like, have, like, a notebook or a pen. Mm -hmm. Like, that to me is, like, a form of privilege. Right. Like, there were other kids that didn't have new shoes or they didn't have, you know, like, okay, like... For me in high school, like having Uggs. Uggs oh, are expensive. Yeah. I never got them. They're Uggs. ugly and they're expensive, and I don't know you why. You have a few. I know. I have one, a two. And you really <laughs> liked them. Yeah, but they're expensive, and it was mm -hmm. to me like that's also a form of privilege is having things that maybe not a lot of other people. That is the definition of privilege, huh? Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say, privilege? though? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like. No, I do. But in that sense, I feel like I feel we like can really. The <laughs> in a sense, though, I feel like we're all privileged if we look in at it. In different ways. Yeah. How you... I just got nails. I can't get the V. I just cut off my nails. I feel like I'm going to fly. <laughs> I know. I saw. <laughs> Look how dainty her fingers are. 
Okay, privilege is a special right, advantage, or immunity granted or available only to a particular person or group. Oh. But I get it. Some people take privilege like our way. Okay. Um, what I just we... thought of the, the one way everyone keeps talking about it. What? <laughs> White privilege. Yeah, that's what... Yeah. I mean, if we're bringing race into it... Yeah. Um, Do we need to close the window for you, Mom? <laughs> no, it's just so beautiful outside. Was there... A privilege. Everyone is privileged in different ways. Yeah. Let's get real. I was trying to think of... I guess I can't think of anything. We're just going to skip that question. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything. We're just going to skip I was that like, question. That was too much. <laughs> I just can't. I can't explain how I feel with the, that question. It's hard to put into words. And that bothers me when you know it in here. Yeah. But you can't explain yourself. My whole life. <laughs> What's something you could do five years ago that you can't do today? Oh, my God. So, I didn't have freaking four dogs. So I was able to do whatever the hell I wanted. Like travel? <laughs> um, okay, so five years ago was what? Oh wow, I didn't even meet Carlos yet. Are we talking 2017? 2017, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, well one is travel. I used to travel all oh my the God, time. Was it 2016? Okay, that year didn't exist for us. Um, I used to travel all the time for work and just like whatever I wanted. Like literally, I would be like, Michelle, we're going on a cruise next week. <laughs> Back your bag. Seriously. We went on two cruises together. They were so much fun. But uh, travel, I used to travel all the time. However, as I get older, my travel anxiety has like increased out the door. Mm -hmm. So I would not want to do that anymore. Anything. Anything has caused her <laughs> so much anxiety. I know. I don't know if it's like part of just like being an adult and you're just aware that everything costs freaking money. I have another <laughs> reason to that, but I won't say. What is it? I think it's because you don't leave anymore. I just don't care. But that's the thing is, like, I don't want to Yeah, you leave. don't have the desire to yeah, leave. Yeah, I don't. It kills me. <laughs> I, like, don't have the desire. And I don't know if it's, like, you hit that point that you just, like, switch. Well, yeah. You guys I don't, bought a home. It's, I think it's right because Carlos and I, like, Yeah. You know, not only that, but, like, you both are very uninterested oh, we're like in, like, such homebodies. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like, travel and just having the freedom of um, doing what I want, like, on my own time. Now mm. I think I have to think of other people. Right. You know? No, I get what you mean. Hmm. What's one weird belief you used to have when you were a kid? Weird belief. Yeah, like something you believed in. Hmm. Well, I wasn't traditional. I didn't believe there was a Santa or a fairy godmother. Mm -hmm. Tooth fairy, whatever. Hmm. Weird belief? Yeah. I kind of have one. Maybe you'll agree with me. Hmm. I don't know if it's a belief. Maybe it is. Hmm. But, like, you know, when we were little, um... We used to think that you had to, like, be married at a certain time or, like, have Oh. Your, like, that's kind yeah, of that's weird. Yeah, that's what I was going to talk about. I was going to, yeah, I was going to go in that direction of, like, the traditional, I thought everybody fell in love traditionally. You found your soulmate and then you get married and then you have a home and then you, actually, I skipped the home and then I became an adult and I was like, all oh, right. All that. <laughs> and then you have a baby and then you live happily ever after. There was no such thing as divorce. There was no such thing as like. Right. You know, you don't think about the details. Right. Mm -hmm. I believed that for a long time. I remember like when Michelle and I first met, I was 20 and she was 19. <gasps> <laughs> oh my God. So Michelle and I met in 2014 and I was 20 and Michelle was 19. We were both in college. We met in history class, and I remember we would, like, talk about our future a lot, you mm -hmm. know? And I remember she was like, I want to be married by 25, and I was like, I want to be married by 25, too. Like, I think that would be, like, so good. And then I definitely want to be pregnant by, like, 26 or 27. Oh, like, my you God. Remember? Yeah. We would, like, talk about our lives, and then I remember 25 hit, and <laughs> <laughs> we both were like... Yeah, so this is a, you no. know. Oh, and then Michelle and I would always drive to these, like, neighborhoods in Huntington Beach. Oh, my God. And we'd be like, I like that house. Yeah. Or, like, that house. Like, that house yeah. is kind of small. We'll live <laughs> together in the same neighborhood. 
good. And then we grew up and we realized that Orange County, California real estate was like out the door. It's like impossible. So I think as you get older, you just get more realistic, but. It, it's kind of heartbreaking. It is. It's kind of heartbreaking, but yeah. you definitely grow up and then you realize life is not just. It's interesting how much parents keep that away from you. Yeah, I, I had no idea. There were a lot of things I didn't know about. Yeah. I wish that I was um, definitely smarter with my money growing up. You guys, if you're in your 20s, save. 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 I know people say it, but it's definitely the best advice. It's worth it. Even just a little. A save. little every day. Save as much as you can. Trust. Trust. <laughs> what is one underrated quality you find attractive in a person? Underrated? So a quality that people don't really pay attention to, yeah. but I find attractive. Yeah. The ability to make other people feel um, important. Did she put in thought to that or what? No, I've always thought about this because you have the trait. Me? Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you do. You know you do, but you do. Like when Michelle walks into a room, she has the ability to give each individual, 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 in the individual. Dude, is that the word of the day that we cannot <laughs> say? She has the ability to give each person in the room the, her undivided attention. Like she makes them feel important. Oh my gosh, she's speaking to my like love my way. You still a hoe though. But, <laughs> but yes, um, oh, I know okay. she's words of affirmation. She, I am. She's fucking wet right now listening to me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> But yes, I think that is such a great trait to have. Just like, you know, I don't know. No, I, think, I know what you mean. I think any day that you make people feel good about themselves is a good day. Mm -hmm. I agree. Oh my god, I forgot there was a dog. <laughs> Girl, you can't just be hopping up. She was like, do I make your day? Oh, she's a cutie. Years. People are wondering why Clem is here, but like the rest aren't here. My boys cannot be in the studio. Clem's very calm. Clem is very, very calm. My boys right now, Cooper right now would be sitting right here eating the sushi, mm -hmm. even though he can't eat mm -hmm. it. Riley would be like sniffing somewhere. <laughs> and then Casper would be at the door barking. Yes. And old man would be biting a toy squeaking. Yeah. Guys, it will yeah, never that happen. That is true. That is so true. No. That's exactly <laughs> what they would be doing. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Turn. Yes. Last, last round. Yes. Okay. Because we gotta go to the Dollar Tree, you guys. I love the Dollar Tree. <gasps> or Five Below. Oh, shit. Oh, I've never been to Five Below. Yes, you have in York, Pennsylvania. You never took me. Are you sure? Because I bought yes. a shitload of stuff. Yeah, but I you was... also went to York without me like twice. No, I brought you. No. You don't Because where is it? Where is it? Right next to Ulta, across from the buffet. Oh, you did take me. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I take the woods of affirmation. I think I think I don't remember because I don't think we were in there for that long. No, it's a hit or miss with five below. Oh, okay. It's great as a kid. Like I would totally take my nieces because everything's under five dollars. But for sure. us, like if you need a charger, yeah, do we really trust? It might get stuck to the phone. <laughs> <laughs> don't buy your charger that Daiso. Oh, my God. Okay. If every human came with a warning label, what would yours say? <gasps> a oh. warning label? Wait, you think of mine and I'll think of yours. I already have yours. Oh, shit. <laughs> warning label? A warning. Like, disclaimer, warning label. This is a good last question. <gasps> I don't know if I have one for you. A Possible tone issue would be mine. <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh. I have yours. I don't have one for you. Are you kidding? There, girl. There's a lot for me. Poss I could possibly be bossy. Yeah, but you're only like that to close people. <laughs> you know? No, genuinely, like oh, she would like, never boss around, like. Yeah. And I don't even like. And it's not bossy. I was gonna say that I get a lot of comments under my vlogs that's like, oh my god, Kim seems so bossy, and it's like. You hopefully a lot of you guys can agree with me if you're like you have like similar Scorpio like personality traits. I I know I come off as bossy, which sucks because I'm not trying to be bossy. 
I think when I express things or say things, I'm just too passionate and strong. Yeah, and it's, you know, I say this all the time and it's just you, like, I, I feel like a lot of your followers and my followers know us, but they don't know us. Yeah. It's just so hard because it's like, because I know you so well, I know it's not bossy. Right. But I can understand why it comes in, oh. like comes off like it's bossy, but it's not. Cause, like, when I watch my vlogs, I'm like, oh shit, somebody who doesn't know me would definitely tell me that, I, like, call me bossy, but I'm just very, I don't know. But we also have, like... T what is it called? Type A personalities? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, Michelle and I both are type A. We're, like, We're like to a T. If I, like, if I want something, like, I will tell you. I'm, like, a, what is that? A, sh a straight shooter? Is that what it's called? I think so. Something yeah. like that. I just call it anal. I'm very anal. Very anal. Yeah. Very anal. I don't like anal. <clears throat> okay, I have a warning. Okay. Okay. Yours would be... Um, she's nice, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? Because, like... Am I mean? I'm not mean. No, you're not mean, but sometimes... Because you are very, like... Honest. Mm, no, here's the thing. It's gonna come off wrong, and I don't want you guys to think that, but, like... I come off it's, mean. No, I get no, it. No, here's, here's what I... Because Brooke sounds, says it, too. This sounds mean, but I don't mean it mean, okay? So what happens is... If you're not important or, like, worth it for her time, she's not going to give you the time. Because, uh, I'm so, yeah. She's a very private person. I'm too private. She's also very, like, mm, my time is very valuable. So, like. Not like that. No, not, okay, not, see, that's what the thing yeah, is. Like, it's not a bitchy thing. It's just my thing is, like, my best friend has gone through enough shit to be, like, you're not. No, see, okay, okay. it sounds this so scary. Yeah, no, no. I, I know what Michelle's trying to say. Okay, so let me give you an example. I am very giving. I'll, I'll give a that. Very giving. I'm very giving. However, I am very selective with my energy. And yes, Michelle is right. It's because I have gone through so much shit with friendships and boyfriends and mm -hmm. family and stuff. Mm -hmm. I am very selective with my energy where... I pick and choose what battles I want to fight and I pick and choose where I want my energy to be. If, I think this is where like we are different. If a friend would screw me over, Michelle's very nice where she is optimistic in a way where she mm -hmm. would like give them another chance. Mm -hmm. I automatically cut you off. Yeah. Like she has, well, we've both gone through enough shit, but I think we're still different in these ways. Yes. Where it's just like, she's learned enough and she just doesn't have enough energy to give to other people who aren't worth it. Which yeah. is not a bad thing to have because it means you don't tolerate bullshit. I also think the reason that I am like that is because I once was very nice to people and they used me. Yeah. And I, like, I always tell Michelle this, like, you have to be careful when you're such a nice person because people take advantage of your kindness. They really do. Or weakness. And yeah. I mean, one of my favorite say saying is, like, just because I'm really nice, like, don't mistake in it for weakness. Oh, yeah. And I've been in many situations where I, like, wanted to please everybody and, like, be nice. That's the hardest way to live. Um, you cannot please everybody. And that's why I am the way I am. Like, I choose very, I'm very selective of where my attention and energy goes. But that doesn't mean, you know, that... That doesn't mean she yeah. doesn't have a heart. That doesn't mean she doesn't know how to it's be hard. sensitive. It's hard to explain. It's very hard. And it's just, it's something that took me a very long time to learn about her. My point is, my best friend has a heart. She just knows when, where her limits stand, I guess. I have limits. You know where yes. to draw the line. I have limits. I'm very per... Believe it or not, I know my life is on the internet, but to me, I'm still very private. You guys actually see, like, maybe an hour's worth in a week of my whole life. Mm -hmm. um, in real life with other people, like, my family and friends know this. I'm, I like to be in my circle. And very be, private. Yeah. Okay, yours. Mine. Your disclaimer would be... Um, Yours was really good. I don't actually have like a beautiful saying the way oh, that you okay. did. Mine, your, hers would just be like fragile. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would yeah. say Michelle's would, uh, disclaimer would just be fragile. Like I feel like 
with Michelle, like, she can tear you a new asshole. She's not, like, overall super sweet or anything. Like, she's, she's fucking scamming y'all, okay? She's not overall <laughs> super sweet. But, um, Michelle is very sentimental, and she is more in her emotions mm -hmm. than I am. So, I would say, like, the reason I say fragile is, like, when you explain things, your tone has to be right. And that's where we, like, had an issue because I was too aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, not that you need to, like, cater to her and be like, oh, my God, this is what's wrong. But it's, like, choose your words wisely because she does, like, take a word and, like, think into it more than what it is oh, sometimes. Yeah. But that's yeah. it. Yeah. Th that was a good question. That was a really good question. I like that question. That was I a good last question. We saved this for the next one. Yes. Okay, you guys, we're going to go to the Dollar Tree. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Check out um, Sushi Nori, right? Short. I like never, I always say Chef Han. Sherry Nori, no? Check out Chef Han's Instagram. I'll list all the links down below, his website as well. The Kim Tai Sushi Platter is available June 11th to June 27th. And all the desserts are available on June 9th. You guys, best sushi ever. You can order, easily pick up, mm -hmm. and eat it at home. Like Michelle said, you can have a picnic. I know that's like the Gen Z trend that everyone's doing right now. <laughs> you can order a bunch for parties. Mm -hmm. It is the best sushi. You definitely I will agree. impress people with Chef Han Sushi. <laughs> 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 Chef Han Sushi. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, my loves.